Hi everyone, my name is Bindu and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll create a simple map report in Power BI and we'll do some formatting to it to make it look a little prettier. So, let's get started. When creating a map report in Power BI, you need to have some geographical data type like country, region, city, state, zip code, postal code or latitude, longitude or uh, some kind, some airport nearby, any of these. If you have any of these uh, geographical data types, then the map creation is much easier. So, let's create the map now. If you look at my screen here, I already have a data set to the right. So, here in the data set, uh, I have a uh, state region and sales so based on these three i want to create a map so i'm just picking up state here because it's a state it's a geographical location by default when you select this a map is created so you just have to extend this to make it look a little bigger and now i'm also bringing in sales into the map here so when i brought in the sales to the map here the size of these bubbles got changed if you have observed the size of the bubbles got changed here let me unselect this now so when i unselect this see all the bubbles are of same size so i'm bringing this back in again i'm selecting the sales here so when i selected this the bubble size changed so what this means is the bigger the size of the bubble the more the data is, the more the sale is for that particular state. Okay, so now I can also bring another field into this map. I can bring in region into the legend. So if you see on the map on the left hand side top, there are four regions defined central, east, south and west. And even, the, um, um, even in the map, the dots are of four different colors. Each region has one color and you have a different bubble size for each, each bubble here which represents the sale amount for each state and each region. So this is a simple map report. What if you want to change the formatting of this map? You can go to the formatting section here. You can go to the format here and you can play with the formatting options here. In the legend you have region right you can certainly off this and you can position it to the bottom you can you should you can position it to right side usually the preferable location for this legend will be either top or right so you can choose anything here this is the legend and if you can also change the data colors for each region. See you have data colors here. For central it is blue, east, south, west. You can change the data colors here as well. Okay. And category. You can turn off the you can turn on the category and if you turn it on you can see the state names here. Okay, if you let me turn this off. So now the state names are gone for the on the top of each bubble. I'm turning this on and I can change the font of it. Change the font of it. I'm bringing back it to normal again. And I can change the font family of it. I don't want to show the background here. I can change, take this off. Take the background, background off. Okay, but anyway, I have the state names in the map itself, so I'm not turning on the category. But if you have something else in your legend, you can always uh, have the category on or off based on your requirement. And bubble size, you can also change the bubble size here. You can increase it and you can decrease it. It's up to you. So you can always change the size of the bubble. And there are... Uh, map controls here so if you want to zoom into the map then you must have some kind of controls it's much easier to have those controls so i'm turning the zoom buttons zoom button on that way i'll have this 
plus and minus symbols on the map here which helps us to zoom in and zoom out. So this is the map controls and you can always have the title or uh, text here. You can change the title text. You can change the background of the map. You can change some kind of background. You can give some background color to it and you can change the border. You can turn on the border for the map. The, you can increase the border thickness and tooltips here. Yeah, you can on the tooltips here for value. You can custom, the, you can change the color for uh, the tooltip. So you can play with all the uh, formatting options to make it look prettier. So in this report, we created a simple USA map. In the next video, we'll try to create different country maps and we'll also try to add some background images to them. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe and see you in the next video. Thank you.